All right, it's Monday morning, just getting the trailer packed up and ready to go. It's uh, moving day. So as you can see, we got the uh, trailer all loaded up. Uh, uh, the wife and kids left yesterday. So um, just uh, finished up the last couple of things, got to fold in the sides, uh, hook up the truck and uh, we'll get going. So quick time lapse of me hooking up the trailer and uh, getting on the road, I guess. So. Uh, we'll see you when we get back to Arizona. Slide outs in. Real, it's that easy. How'd I do on that there? I'm a, uh, uh, Two thumbs up. Oh my gosh, that looks like one. All right, that's it. All loaded up. Time to get on the road. Okay, well, it's like 9.30. Been at this all day. Got into Phoenix about 4.30, I think. No, it was like 3.30. Yeah, 3.30. <laughs> I don't know, it's been a long day, but been working on uh, unloading the trailer ever since. And let me just show you what a disaster the house is because of the trailer. So here we go. And we still have to clean out the bathroom, a little bit more of the kitchen and our bedroom and then we got to go through and like fix a few things in the trailer get it cleaned up photograph it and put it up for sale so kind of a long road ahead but uh that's it for today catch up with you after we get uh, get a little more work done on the trailer and everything fixed up all right so heading back over to the trailer after we got it all uh cleaned out fixed up and uh photographed Took this set of photos and I posted them up on a couple different places to uh, try to get this thing sold uh, as soon as we can and just get it off our plate. But it's pretty sad to see the thing go, that is for sure. It is an awful nice trailer. But with that, I guess we'll head back on over to the shop build and see what they got going on over there. All right, well, I was out here pulling in my uh, low voltage stuff. Oh, the sun, huh? Let's get in here and see how that looks. Oh, my filter on. Anyway, uh, I was out here pulling in my uh, coax cable, ethernet, and uh, HDMI cables. And figured I uh, should do time lapse of me actually doing something at the shop, but uh, <laughs> I didn't have anything set up. Anyway, I put uh, put that box in and the conduit running up through the top plate there. Hopefully it's okay. I don't know. We'll see how it works. But uh, then I got to run coax all the way down to there and out to the house and then... Over here, I'm gonna make another conduit up through the top plate and uh, for HDMI and ethernet. So, wish me luck. I'm just gonna put the time lapse on and get to work. Right, just a quick update on the shop. 
Got, uh, got those conduits installed and uh, I'm finishing making the run of, of wire uh, back to the house here for the coax and the ethernet cable. And what a chore that's been because the uh, contractor was kind enough not to put a pull tape in like I asked. So I've had to fish everything through. Um, you can see my multiple uh, <laughs> multiple rigs here. Uh, I'll show you show you the multiple rigs I've put together to try to put that uh, put that con uh, put that through the conduit, but it just kept getting hung up on that last sweep. All right, so we got the got the Ethernet cable in, got the conduit all done, pulled the Ethernet in. Uh, now I just gotta wait for uh, my dad to get here, and we'll uh, continue pulling the rest of it right here on over to the house. And once we get that done and I've got the reel cleared up, got a wind gust coming through, get that reel cleared up, I'm gonna just cut a piece of uh, coax cable to run from here up and over and right here to use for the HDMI cable. Uh, Cause I gotta wait until uh, tomorrow uh, for that to come in. So I ordered that and with that coax in, if the guys are here putting in the sheetrock, it'll be super easy to just uh, uh, tape onto that uh, coax cable and then pull the HDMI through, even if the sheetrock is up. So that's that's about where we're at. Just gonna wait for uh, the old man to get here and uh, get to pulling the rest of that cable into the house. Uh, and we'll probably just catch up with you guys after we get the sheetrock in tomorrow and uh, see what this thing is gonna look like pretty much finished off on the interior. So I'm pretty excited about it and we'll catch you then, bye. I got lucky today cause the uh, guys are here and put in additional insulation in the ceiling like they're supposed to. And uh, my HDMI cable showed up before the sheetrock guys did. So I'm just gonna pull in this HDMI cable. It's gonna basically go from here up across and right to there, over there where the TV's gonna be mounted. So get that baby in, then we're ready for sheetrock, and I'm I've got everything pulled in. This is uh, this is going really good right now, so I'm I'm excited for it. <laughs> Alright, just 
the quick update I promised. They got uh, the stucco done, as I'm sure you probably saw, and uh, and hung all the drywall. Now the guys are here taping. It's got a terrible echo now that this uh, sheetrock is in here. But uh, the guys are in here mudding and taping up the, the seams and the joints and the corners and all the good stuff. Uh, today, I'll probably get, uh, get a lot of that done and then let that all dry up and then do the texture and everything on the walls. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a kind of issue after issue. The, the, the uh, conduit out, out of the stem here for the electrical panel, obviously I didn't get that centered very well. So now I have a really nice conduit in the middle of uh, the wall over here. Just uh, thing, uh, thing after thing with these guys, it seems like uh, it's pretty irritating. Uh, so yeah, just looking forward to this. Um, I'm gonna get uh, hopefully get this uh, in interior finished off, and uh, get the plumber back here to uh, put the uh, toilet in and um, the 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 sink and everything. I'm I'm putting in myself the sink and the water heater, and uh, get the electrician back here to put in all the uh, outlets and wall plates and uh, and lights and all the finishes. So. Looking forward to getting all this stuff done. I'm really, uh, really going to be happy when it's done. As I've said before, it's just quite a chore to keep track of everything that's going on and then do everything that I need to do as well. Uh, so that's going to do it for update number three. Update number four should be the final, the final product, I hope. And uh, I'm really, uh, Really hoping it's going to turn out nice, and uh, there's gonna, not going to be any more issues. But uh, there, there probably will be. There always is. So, with that, hope you guys had a good one. Enjoyed today's episode. Uh, moving out of uh, California and back at the house in Arizona, and uh, just about ready to get on to our uh, next adventure here in the next week or so. And so, in episode four may be a little, a little delayed just because. Uh, uh, gonna be moving and doing some things, but um, we'll get back to wrap up uh, the build of the shop and I uh, hope you guys uh, tune in for that one. So with that, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Like it if you did, subscribe for more, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.